Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we have some beers back behind me. Let's uh, let's do this one next. It's from Rhythm and Brews. This is Cranberry Spotlight, and it's a light lager at 4% alcohol by volume. And, yeah, so, I almost dropped that. I almost butterfingered a beer. That would have been alcohol abuse. Ah. <sighs> 4% alcohol, light lager. So I don't know if Spotlight is a... Well, first and foremost, I like all the Spotlights on here. I mean, I like that Rhythm and Brews has a... They have a theme, and I like that. And the theme is music. Excuse me. Now, I don't know if Cranberry... I don't know if Spotlight is a bunch of different light loggers with different fruits is what I'm trying to say. I don't know if they're spotlighting different fruit in their light logger, or if they're spotlighting a light logger and it's a whole bunch... Because their mixtape series is all sour beers, but it says series on it, and this just says Spotlight Light Logger. So it might just be that this is this is what it is. It's Cranberry Spotlight. Uh, I'll find out later, won't I? Motherfucker! So that's a second beer from... Uh, them that's done that to me and yes they're not in the fridge but they're in this room that is almost as cold as a fridge uh, and it is the middle well it's December what December 9th so yeah that uh That really makes me happy. That really makes me happy. Uh, so we'll put this back here for a second. I was going to say, so this uh, was shipped up here. It would have been in the cold. It would have been under a plane. Um, then it came here, and it's been in this room this whole time. This room is currently at 10 degrees. So, And when this guy opens, it just lets all the cold air in. Uh, it's, it's used as the air exchanger. Uh, so when this guy is open, this room can drop down to zero, um, sometimes below. So this room is actually the best place for me to store beers. It's, it's actually a good cellar type of room. Um, so this stuff shouldn't be happening, but I don't know how old these beers are. Um, there's a snap crackle pop. You know how much I like that. Bright white head, hazy crazy. Brassy gold color. Let's try and get some more in here without it just heading up on me. It just headed up on me. Um, so we're not going to pour any more of that in here today. Looks uh, looks nice other than that. I mean, I don't like that. I do like how beautiful... Well, that was Moose getting yelled at. Um, yeah, we're going to have to pause it again. Somebody's coming to talk to me. Okay, take three. But the head died, so that's good. Scent. Not a... It's kind of just has a soapy smell, to be honest. Um, okay, out of the can, you get that cranberry note. It's a really bitter kind of berry-like, but out of the glass, it's just soapy. Cheers. Okay. Carbonation is light yet harsh. Okay. So now that my family is done trying to kill each other... Let's go back to the beer, shall we? Holy fuck. This is the, and this is the... And people ask, why are you doing your stuff in the furnace room all the time when the furnace turns on? It's so hot. It's so loud. And you complain about how hot... Because this is the only room with any soundproofing at all because this is a prefab home. It's a, it's a home that came up on a boat, completely built, and was dropped in place. 
Um, only room with any sound resilience at all. And you hear. You hear. So where else am I going to do this? Right? Like, where? Or go out to a sea can with a fucking set of flashlights and negative 60 weather? To do? It's not going to happen. Anyway, let's try this again. Okay. So, it's not bad. And carbonation is light. Uh, the first sip I took, I was talking about how offensive kind of the carbonation was, that it was harsh. It's not really as harsh as uh, now that it's sat and it has no head and all that. It's actually fairly light, but it does encompass the mouth. Cranberry flavor is there, but it's it's obviously... It's obviously either sugar fortified or it's, it's not fully natural, because I don't know how many of you guys have ate an actual cranberry. They're fucking gross. A real cranberry ain't the greatest thing out there. They're, they are bitter. They're like mouth watering, like mouth puckering, bitter and sour. It's like, I bought one. I bought a bag, a bag. I, one of the managers brings them up here all the time. Bought a bag, ate one, threw the rest out. I should buy another bag this year. I don't want to, but I should just so I can do a review of an actual cranberry. Because what we, what most of us know as cranberries is cranberry sauce or cranberry juice. Let me tell you, neither of those taste like a cranberry. You'd think cranberry juice would be cranberry. It's not. Okay, it is not. This tastes more like cranberry juice. Not exactly cranberry juice, but more like cranberry juice than like a cranberry. sweet berry like it does have a little bit of a tannic flavor to it light bodied four percent alcohol you could drink it all night long if you really wanted to as long as it doesn't explode on you out of 10 on this I'd probably give it a seven i'd buy it again cheers <laughs>